good morning. Welcome back. Uh, we're out for an adventure. Gonna have a good time. It is Sunday. There's nobody up here. <laughs> Weather may or may not be a problem. It's kind of like that everywhere right now, so we're gonna have to monitor that. I'm gonna rig up my fishing poles. I got two. Um, I'm gonna set them both up and go down to the water, which is just behind me, and do some fishing. I'll take my GoPro, bring you back if we catch uh, a fish, uh, but we'll, we'll do a lot of fishing, so we're gonna get started. Beautiful camp. I love this place. One thing I'm pretty happy about, um, and I would have took this camp anyway, it's one of my favorite if I'm alone. Um, this forest here is quite a bit healthier than the forest I'm normally in. Um, and wood's hard to come by and somebody's left me a big, a big pile of firewood. So thank you, I will be using that later. Well, I just got soaked. I fished for about 10 minutes and it went from no signs of rain to raining pretty bad. So I waited out the storm. I've caught a couple fish. They've been about three inches. <laughs> I turned my camera on because this one felt six. I think I was right. It's beautiful, beautiful fish. So it's about a quarter after four. Uh, I haven't uh, done a whole lot today. A huge thunderstorm came through, so I had to hang out in the tent for a bit. I just fished for about an hour and a half. Uh, no big fish. I seen a few and had a couple good strikes and I caught a handful of, of teeny little brook trout. I think when I go back out in a little while, I might just fish the shallows and target the little ones. They're kind of a lot of fun, but I'm almost out of water. We're gonna relax in camp, eat some food. Uh, we'll go back down to the water in a bit. But I do have this place to myself. Uh, this place is just incredible. I've been here uh, uh, quite a few times and uh, just just love the area. So, so pretty. I'm gonna try and pick off uh, some of these little fish right here by camp. Uh, here in a little while, I'll move down uh, near the other side where it's a little deeper. But I picked up a couple little guys here earlier and we're gonna try and do it again. Well, I just hooked into a fish. It was a decent fish on a dry fly, and it came off right when the camera came on. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, it's about a quarter after eight. Fishing tonight was pretty rough. I uh, had a whole bunch of strikes. I had a couple come off right at the net, small ones. I was fishing for the small guys. It's still, uh, it's still been a great time, though. I love it up here. I've uh, been alone all day, all day. Um, obviously I'll be alone all night, which uh, makes me sleep really good. I just started the fire. I'm really hungry. Uh, beef chili mac, peak refuel. I'm gonna sit by this fire and have dinner. I'll probably be awake another hour or two, and we're going to bed. It is 7.30. I woke up at 6 to uh, uh, rain, so I kind of forced myself back to sleep. Uh, 7.30, I'm up and at it. I'm going to sit right here with this beautiful view in front of me. Have oatmeal, coffee. I'm going to pull another updated weather forecast and uh, go from there. I love this uh, peak behind me. I've actually been up up here before and to that one and to these two behind me. I've uh, hiked up, up to the peaks. The one of them back there has a really cool arch up there. It's really, really neat. Uh, totally unexpected and inconsistent with the area. I have decided that I'm gonna break down camp and hike to a new lake, I hope. 
the forecast is showing that uh, there there might be some heavy rain coming in, but I think I can at least make it up and over that that pass there behind me before it before it starts. If it starts, probably will. This view is just incredible. Um, it's one of the reasons I come back here year after year. <laughs> uh, I'm just about to the top of the pass. I'm ahead of the storm. The weather forecast looks like it's definitely coming. We'll reevaluate things when we drop down the other side and uh, gonna get back trekking. Oh, well, I am at the other lake I was, uh, or still am thinking about staying at. I've, uh, I've overlooked this lake way too many times. There's a couple really awesome campsites, and it's really pretty. I don't know uh, how fishing is. I know there's fish in here. Um, I, I've been dealing with rain for about 45 minutes. I think it's going to let up, but it's not supposed to get bad until, I think, 5. I'm going to double check that, but I'm going to cover up this camera, and I'm going to fish. Um, when I'm done fishing, I'll decide if I'm going to stay or not. I, I, I really want to. I just don't want to be hunkered down in my tent all, all, all night, and, and it's not supposed to be good at all tomorrow. So uh, we're going we're gonna to fish. All right, it is finally done raining. I had to put my rain gear on for 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, now it's really windy, so I'm drying out, which is nice. I did decide um, I didn't set up camp, and we're gonna go home and call it a trip. I just don't really feel like hunkering down in a tent the rest of the night. Um, it's actually clearing up right now. It's supposed to get real bad at about five. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be that way until tomorrow. And I knew that coming down. This was just the best option um, I had. So I really have had a, a great time and I'm taking a new trail out of here. I have not been on this trail and hopefully it's not too bad. It's really hard to complain when that's your view walking out of camp. Unbelievable. <laughs> 